Hi everyone, my name is Mauro Cabral Nispan and I am the Executive Director of GATE. Hi, my name is Corey Zaccanino and I'm the Director of Finance and Operations for GATE. Hi, my name is Erika Castellanos. I am the Director of Programs at GATE. Hi, my name is Karen Bennett and I work for GATE as Executive Assistant. My name is Navon O'Connor and I am the Communications Officer with GATE. Hi, my name is Ellen Murray and I'm the Lead Consultant on Gender Radiology with GATE. Hi, my name is Max Appenroth and I'm the Project Coordinator of the Trans Men and HIV Working Group. GATE is an international organization. We work on issues related to gender identity, gender expression, bodily diversity and sex characteristics. GATE was founded in 2009. Currently, our work is organized through five thematic areas, depatologization and human rights, the international response to HIV, United Nations and other international mechanisms, movement building and resources, and economic justice. We also have two special projects. One of them is focused on gender ideology and how it is used to attack our communities around the world. The other one is focused on trans men and HIV. When it comes to be about the UN, our work is focused in making the United Nations and other international forums accessible to trans, gender diverse and intersex activists. We want our voices to be heard. We want this international uh, mechanism to be accountable uh, to us. We are doing that by organizing with other partners, Trans Advocacy Weeks every year, and by engaging with experts in the human rights system. For example, the independent expert on sexual orientation and gender identity, but also some special rapporteurs. We are also working with the officer of the High Commissioner for Human Rights and with the UN Agency for Refugees. Our work on depatologization is focused in getting the World Health Organization and all psychomedical systems and institutions around the world to stop considering being trans, gender diverse or intersex a pathology. We are advocating for gender identity laws to stop demanding pathologizing requirements and for getting normalizing interventions targeting intersex people legally banned around the world. A particular portion of our work in this area is focused in organizing and confronting anti-gender movements that are trying to get us repathologized and subjected to torture in medical settings, for example, to conversion therapy. My work focuses on researching and developing resources to tackle anti-gender and anti-trans activism around the world, researching what these movements are doing and building resources to work against them. This work is essential because as far-right, anti-LGBTI and anti-trans movements develop and grow around much of the world, it's crucial that human rights defenders have the research, tools and equipment they need to fight back against them in whatever setting they emerge in. As Director of Programs at GATE, I work in the HIV and the Movement Building Program. In the HIV program, we concentrate in increasing the participation of trans, gender diverse and intersex communities in the international HIV response. We do this by creating and facilitating spaces for our meaningful engagement and participation. In the international HIV response, our work is contributing in expanding the work and the inclusion of trans, gender diverse, intersex communities in discussions around HIV. Subpopulations that have historically been excluded in the international HIV response are now being included in conversations and in decision making. This is a result of the work we do at GATE. Primarily, my work involves the coordination of a diverse global group. The Trans Men and HIV Working Group focuses on increasing the inclusion of trans men and producing critical knowledge about our needs and vulnerabilities in regard to HIV. We currently have 20 transmasculine and non-binary identified activists, researchers, and public health experts from 17 different countries from all continents. This work is essential because historically we have been excluded from the global HIV response. We as the working group develop strategies to increase the inclusion of trans men in health discussions and to further advocate for the need for accessible and inclusive sexual health services. Our work on socioeconomic justice is focused in getting trans, gender diverse and intersex people recognized as one of the key populations when it comes to be about eradicating extreme poverty. We are working with other activists around the world to build strategies 
and actions to improve radically our material conditions of existence. For movement building, we document and advocate for the increased funding opportunities for transgender drivers and intersex communities. We participate in decision-making spaces and donor spaces, for example, in the board of certain donors, to be able to increase policies and funding available for transgender diverse and intersex communities. Our work includes documenting the level of funding that trans and intersex organizations currently have, participating in panels to review applications for funding from our communities, and advocating for increased funding for transgender diverse and intersex organizations. Through capacity building and mentorship programs, we support our communities to become stronger, more sustainable, and have plans for sustainability. We have increased knowledge in monitoring evaluation and meaningful engagement in national processes, particularly in global fund processes. The work that we do at GATE in these programs are essential. The funding for transgender diverse and intersex organizations are very low. So we need to document and advocate for the increased funding from donors. It's also essential that we do constant capacity building for activists and organizations worldwide. This results in stronger movement. We at GATE are very proud of the achievement we got over the past 10 years. For example, we contributed to increase the engagement of trans and gender diverse people in the international response to HIV. We also help to get more donors to understand the challenges and needs faced by our movements and for them to increase the available funding to support transgender diverse and intersex organizing around the world. We help to introduce issues related to gender identity, gender expression, and sex characteristics at the UN, for example, by co-organizing trans advocacy weeks, but also by participating in the elaboration of the Yogyakarta Principle Plus 10. We contributed to the creation of the International Trans Fund and also of the Intersex Human Rights Fund. We have contributed to expand trans, gender diverse and intersex activist participation and meaningful involvement with international processes, for example, universal healthcare coverage. I'm proud to support activists who every day of their lives work to dismantle systems and structures in place that prevent human beings from living a life of love, peace, and dignity instead of fear, violence, and invisibility. The effort and energy it takes to ensure that their communities are heard and represented within the very systems and structures that exclude them is amazing and working. And this is why Gates' work is essential. Because without a seat at the table, so to speak, their communities will continue to be marginalized, abused, and made invisible if the systems and structures do not acknowledge their presence and hear their voices. In the upcoming years, our commitment is to keep working to advance the human rights of trans, gender diverse, and intersex people. We plan to do that through different strategies. First, making sure that trans-led, intersex-led, and gender diverse-led organizations and networks have access to the resources and the funding that they need to keep operating. We want to make sure that UN agencies and mechanisms hear from us, but that also are accountable to us. We want to make sure that trans, gender diverse and intersex people are considered and treated as a key population when it comes to be about racial, social and economic justice. We want legal gender recognition to be a reality for trans and gender diverse people and intersex people around the world, but we also want normalizing interventions against intersex people to be ruled out for good. We are one of the few organizations that is fully trans and intersex led by the people, for the people of our community. That's why we hope you stand by us and you keep supporting our work. We would love to hear from donors or other organizations about collaborating with us or funding any of our projects. If you would like to do so, please get in touch with me directly on noconnor at gate.ngo. You can find out more information about our program areas and projects on our website. You can also follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. You can see all of our video content on our YouTube channel.
Thank you for watching this video and from all the team at Gade, we hope to hear from you soon.